If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. Hello guys, today we will be finding out domain range and graph of sec x and sec inverse x. So sec x is 1 over cos x. So let's have an unit circle where at 0 degree pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 coordinates are 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 and 0 minus 1 respectively. Also sec x in first quadrant is positive in second it is negative in third negative and in fourth quadrant sec x is positive again at zero degree sec zero is one over cos zero and cos zero is one so it is one over one is one at pi sec pi is one over cos pi and cos pi is minus one so it will give us minus 1. At pi by 2, sec pi by 2 is 1 over cos pi by 2 and cos pi by 2 is 0. So 1 over 0 which is not defined. So at pi by 2 this function is not defined. Now at 3 pi by 2, sec 3 pi by 2 is 1 over cos 3 pi by 2 and cos 3 pi by 2 is 0 so 1 over 0 and it is not defined again so at 3 pi by 2 function is not defined so at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 this function sec x is not defined so we will have asymptotes at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and so on. So let's first draw these asymptotes at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and on the other side too. So the domain of this function will be any value of x except x cannot be equal to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and so on or we can say that x cannot be equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 and for the range as sec x is 1 over cos x and we know that range for cos x is from minus 1 to 1. So range for sec x will be opposite to this. So range for sec x will be from minus infinity to minus 1 and 1 to plus infinity. Therefore range for this function is minus infinity to minus 1 and then from plus 1 to plus infinity. So there will be no graph between minus 1 and 1. So for domain x cannot be 2 and plus 1 pi by 2. So any values of x except these circled points and range is from minus infinity to minus 1 that is minus infinity to minus 1 and then 1 to plus infinity. So the graph of this function will be in this yellow shaded part. Now let's check the behavior of this function at 0 when x is moving towards pi by 2 or when it is moving towards minus pi by 2. So when x is moving towards pi by 2, y 
is moving towards plus infinity and when it is moving towards minus pi by 2 then fx or y is moving towards plus infinity again. So when x is moving towards pi by 2 y is moving towards plus infinity and when x is moving towards minus pi by 2 then y is moving towards plus infinity again. At pi when x is moving towards pi by 2 then y is moving towards minus infinity and when x is moving towards 3 pi by 2 then y is moving towards minus infinity again. So at pi when x is moving towards pi by 2 then y is moving towards minus infinity and similarly for 3 pi by 2 it will y will be moving towards minus infinity and similarly we can graph for 2 pi minus 2 pi minus pi and so on now if we draw a graph in between this white empty space then we will see that this graph is for the function cos x where at each maximum and minimum point of cos x we have parabolic like shapes and at each x intercept we have asymptotes. So for the function fx is equal sec x domain is x cannot be equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 and the range is from minus infinity to minus 1 and then from plus 1 to plus infinity. So for this function to have an inverse that is fx is equal sec inverse x then the function fx is equals to sec x must pass the horizontal line test. So let's see if it passes or not. So the horizontal line is intersecting at more than one point. So this function will not pass the horizontal line test until we reduce the domain of this function. So let's the reduced domain be from 0 to pi. Now let's do the horizontal line test between this domain and this time this function will pass the horizontal line test. So the reduced domain is from 0 to pi where pi by 2 is excluded because at pi by 2 function is not defined and this interval is called principal value. So the domain for sec inverse x will be the range of sec x that is minus infinity to minus 1 and then plus 1 to plus infinity and the range of the function sec inverse x will be the reduced domain of sec x where reduced domain of sec x that is principal value is from 0 to pi where pi by 2 is excluded because at pi by 2 function is not defined and we have asymptote there. So the range or the reduced domain is from 0 to pi by 2 and then from pi by 2 to pi where pi by 2 is not included. So the range is 0 to pi by 2 and then pi by 2 to pi. So for function fx is equal sec inverse x domain is from minus infinity to minus 1 and then from plus 1 to plus infinity and the range is from 0 to pi by 2 
and then from pi by 2 to pi where pi by 2 is not included so domain that is from minus infinity to minus 1 and then from 1 to plus infinity and range from 0 to pi by 2 where we have asymptote at pi by 2 so let's first draw the asymptotes at pi by 2 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and minus 3 pi by 2 and the graph of second was x will be in yellow shaded area now if at 0 if x is moving towards pi by 2 then y will be moving towards plus infinity and if it is moving towards minus pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 then y will be moving towards plus infinity so at 0 when y is moving towards pi by 2 then x is moving towards plus infinity and if y is moving towards minus pi by 2 then x is moving towards plus infinity similarly at pi when x is moving towards pi by 2 then y is moving towards minus infinity and when x is moving towards 3 pi by 2 then y is moving towards minus infinity so we can graph it for pi minus pi minus 2 pi 2 pi and so on also the range for second verse x is from 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 and in this range it will pass the horizontal line test and this range from 0 to pi excluding pi by 2 is the principal value of this function so this is how we graph second verse x.